Hey, Frank, how are you? Good, good. How you doing? Doing well, thanks. Hey, uh, LeBron has spoken often about the film room sessions that you have. And I just wondered what it's like after uh, that Golden State game, which we haven't seen a lot you know, right in the fourth quarter and things along those lines. So uh, I wondered what stood out in that film session. Well, we try to remove the result from all of our, our film sessions. You know, these are teachable moments, uh, whether we won the game or lost the game. I really focus on the execution pieces. And in this instance, it was, you know, uh, a lesson on, you know, what has to go into closing out a big lead. You know, it's not easy to, to play with a lead in this league, especially against a team with firepower. And, um, you know, you know the factors that, uh, you know, that, that go into it. That the, the other team's going to pick up their defensive pressure. The whistle's going to swing. Um, you know, you have to fight against uh, losing focus and make sure you're staying aggressive. Um, you know, and within all that, you have to execute all your assignments defensively and offensively. And, um, you know, there's a lot of areas we didn't do that well enough, obviously, in the game the other night. And, um, you know, we just, just turn them into teachable moments, uh, remove the result, and try to get better each day. Frank, with the qualifier that this is so early in the season and, you know, the sample size is thus low, and your paid points allowed are, I think, 24th in the league, and that was a, kind of a tenor of the team last year. Other defensive categories, though, are way up. Your defensive rating is way up. So I, I just wondered if you've seen any themes from early in the season with defending the paint versus how you're still a, a, a super efficient defense overall. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's still too early to, to really – Put a DNA on on uh, on us guarding the paint. Um, I will say that uh, you know I challenged my team in practice today uh, to be better with our our low man protection. You know, which the last I'd say the last few games, three or four games, even though we we've won, um, haven't been done at a high enough level for my liking, and uh, you know something that we'll get better at. But you know we're doing a good job overall on that side of the ball. But you know always ways we can get better. Next up, Kyle Goon, please. Hey, Frank. Um, actually, two unrelated questions, but, but hopefully the first one is brief. Uh, Jared missed a couple of games with with Lissa's right calf soreness. Can you give us any other insight into the nature of that and what maybe is taking a while? Yeah, uh, well, he, he did it the morning after, uh, I forget which game it was. I think that Anthony was out. We threw him in there, maybe Chicago. Um, he came in to play, play pickup with uh, you know, some of the younger guys and, and strained it then. Um, you know, was getting close to return and strained it again. Just, just aggravated it. So, um, you know, just put him out for a few more days. Okay. And, and secondly, um, I know you, you guys try to approach every game the same way, but is it, in, it, is it good that perhaps you guys had a, a letdown performance in, in a sense right for a big game against the Milwaukee team that a lot of people see as, you know, Eastern Conference contender. Yeah, I don't think it's ever good, um, you know, to lose a game that you should win, you know, with a 14-point lead in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, that's that's never good. You know, that, that should get us nice nice and edgy. I mean, I, if you're looking at, at a silver lining that, you know, it'll make us edgy going into that Milwaukee game, you know, maybe there's there's something there. but. I, mean, I think when you're playing against one of the best teams in the league, you're going to play edgy anyway. You know, so I, I don't know if um, you know that Golden State loss is going to you know, impact that uh, as much. Dan Wakey, Frank, um, you guys went on this big, obviously long road trip last year, and had to experience a ton of different things on that trip, um, around passing and Kobe, and then obviously the trip home. But I wanted to ask you about, about the Davis Stern Memorial. That, that was something you decided to attend um, in New York City. Why was that important for you to, to, to be at and kind of, I guess, secondarily, like, does this feel like it was only a year ago? Does it feel longer? Does it feel shorter? I mean, time is a crazy thing right now. Yeah, I don't have a good feel for, for time right now. <laughs> I mean, it's, the answer is both. It feels like a, a million years ago, um, you know, but but also it feels like it's just yet, just happened yesterday, too. So. Um, if that makes any sense, I'm sure it doesn't. But the David Stern Memorial was uh, was important for us to be there because he's meant so much to our league. You know, um, you know, obviously the league was in trouble in the '80s, and you know his marketing genius, um, you know, brought it, brought us out of that, and you know put us in a position for all of us over the the, the last few generations, uh, you know, to to have the league flourish, and for all of us, you know, to uh, find great careers and um, just have career success in this industry. 
uh, because of what he did for, for the league. So uh, we all owe him a, a debt of gratitude, and you know, it was important for us to be there. Everybody, we do have time for one more with Coach before getting caught up. Who's moving? So let's go ahead and Dave make that in. Greg, when you look ahead to uh, a chunk of games like this, a seven game stretch, do you have a record in mind of, of, you know, do you game it out? You know, like, okay, that should be a win, that should be, that could be tough. Uh, how do you approach it in, a, in a, the big picture? Yeah, I mean, I, I really don't. You know, I, I, think, I think that's a post mortem type of thing. Like, you know, once you get done that seventh game, you know, we went five and two on his trip or seven and oh on his trip or whatever, two and five, whatever you end up, I think you look back and, and, and you evaluate then it, it was a good trip, it wasn't a good trip. Going into it, um, I know it's cliche ish, but I'm, I'm really only focused on the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, it's, it's the only, other, other than making sure I didn't forget anything when I was packing this morning and yesterday, <laughs> the only thing on my mind is uh, what do we got to do to beat the Milwaukee Bucks?